Three, two, one. It's a win for Duquesne. Oh, they put four tenths of a second back on. Uh, I think it's good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think Duquesne has just upset BYU. BYU, a very sexy pick. But it looks like the Duquesne Dukes, my alma mater. No. For a semester, I went there. Anyway, that's, you know, it's downtown. It's downtown Pittsburgh. I'm going to say it. You know what? Put $5 on the Lent thing. We're ending it soon. I'll do one more for my team when they won. We are ending it. There it is. Uh, anyway, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look behind me. Can we do a sports book shot? By, I didn't even think of that. Can we take a look at the sports booker? No? Can't look at that. Absolutely packed. Ladies and gentlemen, this, I'm not lying. This is more packed than the Super Bowl. Yeah. It not, is without a, a doubt. Because seat. you know what? With the Super Bowl, you only have like two teams that people are rooting for. Here, you got a ton of teams. $165, I don't care. Because I put $165 on Duquesne. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't. But anyway, um, look at this. It is uh, absolutely electric. You think that's something, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's even crazier upstairs. I'm Frank Nicotero, by the way. Welcome to Punchlines. Longtime comedian, lifelong sports fan. And uh, Ryan, what do you think so far? We got two finals. Michigan State, favored by a point and a half, lower seed. Yeah. One easily because it's, it's Izzo. It's March. Yeah, they were looking good that whole game. Mississippi yeah. State just didn't look like they were ready to be here or be there. Mississippi State, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now and then, Duquesne yeah. pulls off the upset. Uh, 138 points. I think 141 was the over. I didn't touch it. But anyway, Duquesne wins. Yeah, they were winning pretty much the whole game. They BYU really were. Tied it at 60 and got a little And they held on, you. man. Yeah. Uh, Clark and uh, the other guy in the grand, the, 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 the guard play is, you know, this is what could take you far on the turn. They're in the round of 32, Duquesne Dukes. Unbelievable. We have a few yeah. people watching. By the way, Keith Lyle. Keith, thank you for uh, watching. And Keith, thank you for being on yesterday. You were fantastic. There you go. Aaron, Aaron O'Connor. Aaron O'Connor is back? You're almost a modder. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the very funny Aaron O'Connor. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so Duquesne, uh, they, they play again. They live to play. You're almost mod. I don't, that's hysterical. Daniel Pacheco, oh my freaking goodness, he said. Very good start, man. Good start for the Dukes. Good start for me. Uh, who had BYU in our draft that I just defeated? Who was that? Ryan, do you know? Our, uh, our Wonder Woman. Our oh, director. Anne. And there goes the shot of me. <laughs> Gosh. Knew that was coming. We're gone. We're gone. And we're off the air, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're back on. I knew it. Uh, I got here a little early. Now, this is true. I don't know if you, if you follow Chris Andrews, our sportsbook director on Twitter. He showed last night the calm before the storm. He went up there and did a video of the room upstairs. I want to point out to you folks, the South Point Casino, it's free to come down here. There's no admission for our March mayhem. Can't say March. Can we say it? If it's tied to a product, I thought we can't say it. But anyway. Well, you're tying it to a product right now. Oh, okay. March mayhem. But if they come after us, that's good press. Okay, anyway, March mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> Taking the little guy. It's March mayhem. Anyway, there's like 2,500 people upstairs right now. Uh, Jeff Parles is up there. Alex is up there. Uh, a friend of Jeff's is there. I'm going to be up there. Ryan, we don't know. Uh, I don't know who else is coming up, but it's a party. Uh, and I did a little video. You want to see what it looks like? This is upstairs right now at the South Point. Holy moly. I am upstairs right at the South yes, Point well. for the March Mayhem party. They're, I mean, they're not. Frank's twin. There's like 3,000 people in here behind me. Look at this. This is a free throw line. Why are they all waiting in line? Well, if you hit four out of five, you win a bucket of beer. You hit five out of five, you win a $50 gift card to Red Bull. Hey, if I go four for four, I'm breaking the fifth one. Give me the bucket. Anyway, uh, we're going to be up here all day after punchlines. Come down to see us at the South Point. Currently, Duquesne Dukes. My alma mater went there for a semester. <laughs> they are winning by 12. Almost modern. Well, I'm not really good at math. That was an eight. I'm very good at math. I just didn't look right. Anyway, come on. Oh, it's Arizona, people. Did you guys have the first to 15? Yeah. First they to had 15. the first no to 15, which just hit. State. You got to get here. This party's awesome. Yeah, it's unbelievable up there. And I tweeted out uh, the prices of the bar menu and the food menu. Uh, Parles, I hope you don't mind, but he was up there. He had a piece of pizza, uh, chicken tenders, and a Pepsi. It was under 10 bucks. And I'm like, so when's that eight and a half minute mile? <laughs> he's in training, ladies and gentlemen, for that eight and a half minute mile he's going to do. Push but, it back to April Fool's Day. Then it's going to get pushed back to May 1st. Yeah. And then uh, June 1st. Yeah, but I, I'm going back upstairs, man. It is so much fun. There's kiosks up there where you can bet. There's also ticket windows. There's open bars. And if you had four out of five free throws, bucket of beer. And like I said in the video, if you hit all five, you win a $50 Red Bull gift card. I like Red Bull. <laughs> And I'm sorry, but if I go four for four, I'm breaking the fifth. I don't want the Red Bull. I want, I'll be like, all right, if I'll hit all five, and I'll be like, just give me two buckets of beer. And everybody at the table will be like, oh, yeah. And I'll be like, this is my beer. Mine, yeah. <laughs>
Uh, anyway, it, it's a party. It's going to be like that again tomorrow. That's what's amazing. We do it today. It's like the Super Bowl, and then we go, you know, let's do it again. Whole nother day. Let's run it back, as the kids say. Yeah. I'm down. Holler. So not. Hey. Yep. Uh, coming up on the show live in the studio, we have a comedian. He's the resident comedian uh, host at the Motown Express show, Las Vegas' number one Motown review. Met him as he came in. He's sporting his, uh, his true alma mater where he went to school. We won't reveal, but uh, J-Dab will be here in a minute. And I'm told we're going to have a pop-in from Alex. So I was upstairs. I'm sitting there with Jeff. I have to run downstairs. I pass Alex. And she goes, oh, am I coming down? I said, yeah. And she goes, eh, I don't know. She goes, yeah. She's like, oh, maybe. I'm like, okay, well, we'll be prepared. If she does show up, then she shows up. She did a great job this morning on uh, Gone Racing. She did. I understand Brennan Gone. gone. Yeah, Brennan Gone was alone under the weather at the last second. Alex jumped in with Jeff Molly and hosted Gone Racing. And they talked about this race this week. I think it's in Texas, right? Yeah. It's in Texas because I looked at the sheet the other day. Photographic memory. Yeah. Joey Logano's going to win. And it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a, one road, of these races. Road race. It's a road yeah. race. They're not just going left. Now, see, that, I, that's going to be cool. So anyway. Left and right turns. And right turns? Yeah. I, didn't, I thought the wheel just went left. So hopefully uh, Alex will come in. We don't know. But it'll be a surprise. It'll be like the old Carson show when Bob Hope popped in. J-Dab knows what I'm talking about. Do you know the name Bob Hope? Ryan? Yeah, I know Bob Hope. I don't know Bob Hope, but right. I know the name, yeah. How do you know? What do you know of Bob Hope? Uh, his name. His name? <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Ryan McCormick. That's why he's the best producer in the business, right there. The Burbank Airport is called Bob Hope Airport. Bob Hope was a big star in the 40s. Uh, Hope and Crosby did these movies. I'm just going to talk about Hope and Crosby. This is what the audience wants. Anyway, he owns half of Burbank. When he died, he was worth like half a billion dollars, and he handed out full candy bars when I was a kid. All right, uh, I wanted to point out today is March 21st, 2024. We have the, uh, oh, is it 3 2 one day? It's 3 2 one day. We'll get to that in a second, right? Did I skip that already? No, no we're going to get to that. You, yeah, just got to. Uh, we want to talk about our second baseball score of the day. It happened in Korea again, 3 in the morning. That it did. Someone said it was 2 in the morning. Was that someone on this show? It started at, yeah, it started at 2.30. No, it started at 3, though. It's 3.05, it said on, on the app. Are you sure? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It was, uh, it was the over, was the play there. <laughs> Padres... Padres yeah. won 15 to 11. Yeah. Yamamoto, they spent, Dodgers spent $325 million on him, right? And his ERA is 45. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't watch the game, but Reno Paul, of course, faithful Dodger fan, got up. He said it looks like he was throwing batting practice. They, uh, someone was saying that he was tipping pitches, but that may be correlated to the Shohei thing. But they did an overlay of yeah. his fastball, his cutter, and his splitter. Okay. Same motion. All three. Like, it, there was no... So, yeah, he's not tipping no, any. Yeah, no difference in any of his... I don't know. Maybe they, they studied some motions. footage. But anyway, uh, you mentioned Shohei Otani. I, I don't even know what to say about this story. I think we should wait till it unfolds over the weekend or yeah. more, but... Four and a half million dollars? Stolen. Stolen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's his best friend? Yeah. Yeah. yeah his interpreter and by the way, fired. the last out of the game, the first game of the year, they were just joking around, and it's not like he knew anything was happening. So, we'll let that unfold. I know people are obsessed with it. Uh, and ironically enough, on this day in sports history, Pete Rose, who we mentioned yesterday in episode 114, because he wore 14, on this day in history, 1989, it was announced that Pete Rose was under investigation. Interesting. That happened 35 years ago. It's 30, just that time of the year. It's that time of the year when they go, they go, maybe we should take a look into all this stuff. But uh, in response, do we have the Montreal Expos uh, tweet? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so in response to the translator being fired for apparently gambling over $4 million on sports, the Montreal Expo said, this is why we never paid for interpreters. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, uh, Montreal Expos haven't existed in like 20 years, so is they still have an account, or is that just someone who took the name? No, I, I'm pretty sure the Expos, some, for some reason, have an account. They should have a franchise. I, I, you know, They were in the National League East when I was a kid. They were rivals of the Pirates, but I liked their uniforms. I liked Gary Carter, Warren Cromartie. They had all these good players. So Montreal deserves an expansion team if it does happen. So does Vegas. There you go. But you're getting the A's. Yeah. <laughs> Give the A's uh, to Salt Lake. Give us an expansion. I know. That's the other one. Salt Lake and Memphis or one of Nashville? Nashville. Nashville, yeah. I always get those cities confused. Not Memphis. Uh, today is also National Countdown Day. It took me a second to get this one. Did you figure this one out? Yeah. Because today's date is March 21st, 321. So it's three, two, two one. Yeah. Blast off. So three, two, one, National Countdown Day. Uh, July 16th, 1969, Apollo 11 launches, going to the moon. Uh, also, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> what happened? We just played the countdown animation. Three. Oh, National Countdown Day. Three, two, 
One. Oh, oh right to me. Because you can't have a bigger bomb than my jokes. Wait, what? Uh, three, two, big. one. Okay, with January, uh, on this day, Marlon, Marlo Anderson quietly launched a website called National Day Calendar, which is where we find out what stupid national day it is. Uh, and by the way, three, two, one, it's five o'clock somewhere. We should have had beers, right? We can't have beers after. Yeah, I can have a beer. All right. Uh, last one. I find this ironic. Uh, it's national. It's not national. It's Matthew Broderick's birthday today. Matthew Broderick is most famous for what movie? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Spectre. Inspector Gadget, Jerry. Why does it not surprise me? Jerry said Inspector Gadget. The new Christmas story? No. Ferris Bueller. War Games? War Games War Games is a close second, man, because I love War Games. Election's a good movie. I think that's where the other picture was from, maybe. I don't yeah, know. It was War Games. Uh, Inspector Gadget, Jerry, filmed in... No way. <laughs> the whole movie was filmed in my hometown. He's about to say Do it. I get a free one for saying it? Okay. Do I? Ryan? <laughs> No, you try to sucker me in. Anyway, okay, uh, J-Dub, I'm not allowed to say my hometown during Lent. I get penalized $5 every time. So I can't say it, but you're more than welcome to say P. Yeah, go. go. <laughs> yeah, that whole movie was filmed in, uh, yeah. He turned 62. But anyway, I find it's ironic that it's Ferris Bueller's birthday because today is a day where a lot of people get sick. <laughs> oh, boss, I can't sick. come in. Yeah. It's third. Yeah. Oh, maybe. It's oh, a big right. air quote. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. So you wonder how much money is lost in productivity. This is a stat from last year. Yeah. What happened? I know he did. I didn't want to yeah. say it by name, but I mean, if I see Brennan upstairs drinking some beers and watching the games, I'm like, hey, wait, where would you say? Uh, March Madness. Mar what can I say? I can say it. Right? The tournament will cost employers $17.3 billion in lost productivity. 17.3. That's last year's numbers. They don't know this year's numbers, right? Yeah. And because they say that people do brackets at work, they're checking their phones to see scores. Uh, that's brutal, man. $17.3 billion being lost. Right now, we're getting paid to talk about it. So our productivity is up? Yeah. Think about that. That's pretty deep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's on here? Uh, Dean Hill, uh, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Time to get it done. I could not agree more. There was supposed to be a major announcement from, uh, why can't I think of his name? Uh, the, the commissioner of baseball. Old guy. Manfred? Yeah, Rob Manfred. I had an, last year there was like a press conference and everyone's like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna like say P Rose. P Rose, nope, wasn't that. Still can't get in. Uh, uh, he belongs in. I agree with you, Dean Hill. Keith Lyle, our guest from yesterday. Keith in the Lyle, chat, yeah, he said he dealt twenty one to Pete Rose. He what again? Dealt twenty dealt blackjack. Oh, to Derek Rose. To Pete Rose. Oh, to Pete Rose. Yeah, he's apparently amazing. Now we have we're gonna have Keith Lyle yeah. back because Keith Lyle was really funny. And on the way out, he goes, "Hey, I didn't even get into my gaming stories." I said, "Well, that's for April." So Keith, you will be back, and we want to hear that. Talked about Greg Maddox. This is called a tease. Come back in a month. Anyway, <laughs> today is episode 115. I see people pointing out the jerseys. Uh, episode 115, and to commemorate this show, Ryan, uh, what shirt are you wearing? Brandon Marshall? Yep, Brandon Marshall jersey. That's one a nice of, one. Yeah, one of the first Bears jerseys I got. Um, well, not one of the first ones, but. Now, I didn't have really a jersey, so you, and, and it, it connects to basketball. Yeah, yeah, former I'm wearing, Tar Heel. I'm wearing, and, and you love dinosaurs. We know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you like the Raptors, right? Because of the dinosaur. Also, it's a sick jersey. It is a great, it is a great jersey. Yeah. Sick yeah. means good, J Dab. I don't know these kids today, but anyway, check this out. Vince Carter at fifteen because it's episode one fifteen. Oh, yeah, there's the fifteen. Go. Yeah. Well, when I'm, <laughs> it's a mirror image of me when I look at the bottom. <laughs> fifteen. Damn it. Fifteen. There. Okay. One five. Uh, Vince Carter plus he went to your favorite school. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Former Carolina is playing right now. Yep. North Carolina. Against Wagner. Against Wagner, who I have. Now it's no oh, it's twenty eh, and you're up, gonna win that one. Only up seven. Yeah. yeah maybe, you're gonna win that one. Maybe you won't cover, but uh anyway, so do you uh, you did something for fifteen. This is probably our final collage for some time. Yeah. All right, let's hit hit me yeah. with the collage. Yeah. And while that's up, J-Deb, if you want to slide in, you can just jump in your chair here. All right, most notable athletes store fifteen, I have to name them. That looks like Patrick Mahomes. No. It's not Patrick Mahomes? It's Pat yeah, it's Patrick Mahomes. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm 0 for 1 because I nailed yesterday. Uh, you put Doug Drabeck. Yep. Doug Drabeck, who I watched a game on TV. I was keeping score at home. Eight and two-thirds, no-hit ball, and then gave up a base hit to a guy named Sil Camposano, uh, who broke up the no-hitter. All right, next to that, Denver. Is that Joker? That is Nikola Jokic. Yes. All right. Okay, and then the A, I can't see because the screen got small on me. My eyes. I know it's Carmelo in the Denver, right? Yep. yep. Uh, the Oakland A number fifteen. I can't. He played with. So he played with the A's. 
from 99 to 04. And then he played with the Braves from 05 to 13. Oh, wow. I was going to, it's, uh, I, it, for some reason, Mike Aldretti popped into my head, but it's not him. Initials are TH. Oh, wow. He had like a little uh, a flavor saver type thing. Tom? Under, yeah. Uh, replace the oh o. Hudson Tim Hudson there you go there oh you wow go. okay yeah. Tim Hudson yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got a Ohio State Buckeye in there is that Marvin years. is that Marvin Harrison Jr. it no. is not a Buckeye it's not a Buckeye I can't no that is a receiver for the 49ers also oh is that Brandon with, Ayuk no also played with the Ravens he did uh, no longer in the league he had a, a problem people grabbing his chain did he go to Florida State and to, and Quan uh, Bolden no no I don't know who is that uh, Richard Sherman had the the quote you're gonna uh, Tasking oh, with a sorry retriever. That's receiver, right. Like, damn it. What are his initials? M C. Uh, my Crabtree, Michael Crabtree, who came Michael out of college. Crabtree. I think he went to Texas Tech. Uh, Texas or Texas Tech? He was like yes. supposed to be the number one receiver. He didn't have that great of a career. Yeah. Who's the hockey player? Uh, the newly acquired defenseman from Heidel. the Calgary Flames. Heidel. Uh, his last name is starts with an H. You're uh, Hi- thinking Heipel? of Eichel. I know Heidel. No, no Herpel. You no. you didn't want this guy. Is that the guy you hate? No. no. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, Tomas. Uh, who's yeah. that guy? Uh, Noah Hannafin. I don't know that guy. And uh, then you got Tim Tebow. Yep. Tim Tebow, who was like seven yep. for fifteen for ninety yards in a playoff game against Steelers and won that game because of that overtime touchdown. Was it to Demarius, Brandon Marshall? No, it's to Demarius Thomas. Oh, Demarius Thomas. Yeah, the late Demarius Thomas. Right. Sadly. Yep. Yep. And then. Uh, wait. Oh, who's that before the, the pound sign? Who is uh, California Angel? Wow. Also, oh, Tim Salmon? Yeah. Oh, wow. Tim Salmon. Yeah. Your hint was going to be Mike Trout. Yeah, right. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Salmon. I see you did that. He, <laughs> he used to be the all time home run leader for the Angels. I think Trout might have passed him, but for years it was Tim Salmon. Uh, great ballpark, a steady ballpark. He was on the World Series team when they won in the early 2000s. Last but not least, number 15 in a Pirates uniform, it's our boy Denny Nagel. Perfect segue to mention that he will be on the program tomorrow. Denny will be phoning in from wherever he is. I don't know if he's in Arizona or back home in Colorado. But the reason being, he has got John Smoltz, Hall of Fame pitcher John Smoltz, which is very exciting. Uh, also, MLB lead commentator for Fox will be on the program tomorrow. He was going to do last week, but he blew out his shoulder. So I talked to him on the phone. It's weird to have John Smoltz in your phone. So people look down and be like, oh, God, John Smoltz is calling me again. <laughs> Hall of Fame pitcher wants to you know, talk to me about mechanics. Anyway, John Smoltz will be here with Denny Nagel tomorrow. And uh, I believe Frank Mergy is going to talk women's brackets, too. we got a packed show. And Vinny, Vinny M. Oh, Vinny Maliulo. I said it. It's a, I'm Italian. You would think I'd know that name. You know what? I like when people just go by, like, an abbreviation of their name, kind of like our first guest right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned earlier that he is the host of the uh, number one Motown Review in town. Comedian also, it's Jay Dab. Jay hey, Dab, everybody. Yeah, Woo! Yeah, thank, you, Jay thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Frank. Jay Dab, thanks for enduring uh, the, the opening 15 minutes there of us just kind of getting... The flow going about all the games. It was a good time. And I cannot help but notice that KU hat on you right now. That's right. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. So how do you feel today? Kansas is playing a Sanford team. And you, what did you say to me right before the show? I said they're going home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> how can you feel that way? This is this is truly an alma mater, you know, right? I, exactly. Right. And, 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 you know, when you're fanship, you know, you have the right yeah. to talk bad about you can them, that's true you yeah. know and and it, it won't be a bad thing it okay. won't be a bad thing you know their season ended kind of on a on a sour note yeah so they're backing it, into the tourney you know going home tonight it won't be a bad thing <laughs> it won't be a bad thing because then your your hopes will start to rise all right <laughs> hoping they'll make to the final four they're not going they're to, not going to so. that's good have low expectations and if that's, they win maybe you're like ah one That's, more game. Yeah. Now, uh, when you attended KU, who was there, and was this was this when the program was still strong? Uh, yes, um, the um, the basketball coach. Um, oh God, Larry Brown? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm really old. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was. Um, um, gosh, I can't remember his name. It doesn't now. matter. I can't remember his name. Old now. Kansas coach Ted That's Owens. There it okay, goes. there you go. You it pulled was it. right on to my tongue. <laughs> Ted Owens. Ted Owens, and I don't know. I think he's probably the only coach that was fired. <laughs> As, Usually they as exit, a, yeah. As a basketball coach at KU because he was really bad. So it was bad. It was and bad days. We for you. had Ted must go chance <laughs> <laughs> during games. Never good. Yeah, it was it was not it was not good. Was All right. Well, I time. love that you're supporting your team. I mean, Ryan yeah. is a big North Carolina guy. They're up by ten. And was rooting for BYU. What happened to BYU today? Hmm? Oh, she turned off the TV again. <laughs> I'm in the dark over here. All right. 
Anyway, so tell us, uh, your, your, how did you get to Las Vegas and how long have you been here? Well, I came out to Las Vegas just for a visit in 86. <laughs> and, uh, no. and I stayed in Tropicana. Bye, Tropicana. Oh, April 2nd. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. I know, I know. And then uh, I came back. In 97, okay. and on my second trip here, I was like, I'm not going to come back here unless I move here. Okay. Because I really like the town yeah. a lot. So I came in 99, moved here in 99, and uh, wow. is, off and on. You know, I moved, moved here in 99, left, came back. And from left, where again? Back. Where are you from? Uh, well, I was born in St. Louis, uh, okay. raised in Indianapolis. Okay. And uh, so I graduated high school in St. Louis, and that's how I ended up at KU, because I didn't want to go to Mizzou in the 13th right. grade. So. <laughs> <laughs> our host, Jeff Parles, who hosts our afternoon show, Sports by the Book, he graduated from Mizzou. There you go. He's upstairs right now. He's not watching. He's watching basketball, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Kansas is great pro. I've been on the campus. It's beautiful. Now, it when did you start doing stand-up? And did you start out here? Or did you start in Indianapolis or St. Louis? Actually, I started stand-up uh, just about nine years ago. Oh, okay. So you're uh, new to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm very new, new to, very new to uh, doing stand-up comedy. Um, and... Um, um, I started my career as a singer. As a singer, okay, as a right. singer, yeah. I went to KU on a vocal scholarship. Get out. And uh, I graduated with a uh, voice performance degree, Bachelor of Music and Voice Performance. Oh, wow. And uh, um, I ended up going there because they, they gave me a really nice scholarship to go. Oh, wow. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was very happy. And so that was the that was beginning of my career. Now, the thing that they don't tell you when you're on a vocal scholarship, you yeah. graduate because it's classical music. But the voice really doesn't develop until you're like 30, 32. Right. See, Ryan, so, you got 10 years yet. You know, so as far as like <laughs> the singing, you know, opera roles and stuff like that. Oh, so, wow. So I ended up doing a lot of jazz, a lot of Broadway, had a couple of uh, national tour, national oh, no Broadway way. tours. And, okay, who were some of your influences vocally then? I'm just trying to um, figure jazz, out. Well, I or jazz or Al, pop. Al Jarreau was like. The man that I just Al Jarreau. I can't. I was out. Some by day, some by night. Oh, what was that? Anyone wanna go dancing? Dum, 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 dum. Yeah, I, I had an Al Jarreau. I worked at a record Love store. Jarreau. I loved Al Jarreau, yeah. and I had a re that song. Yeah. Anyone gonna go dun, dun. Anyway, he did the theme to Moonlighting too, and <laughs> yeah. who just met uh, on the way. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, we're not vocal majors, as you can tell. Anna and I, we're just, we know the same things because we're like this. What was that, Ryan? I didn't say anything. It sounded good, though, didn't it? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, Al Jarreau, so you did a lot of jazz stuff. And a then, lot of jazz stuff. Okay. Uh, some Broadway. And then uh, when, I came to, when I came to Las Vegas, I ended up working with a group called Tribute, a salute to Temptations. Oh, wow. We're doing all, you know, Temptation music. And as a matter of fact, sometimes they would call us when the Temptations couldn't do the job. No way. Which was, which was great. We had a long stay at uh, Legends in Concert, about oh, three okay. and a half years. Um, we had our Neil Diamond guy, Jay White, who was Neil Diamond, was in the Legends. Show. Do you Jay. know Jay? Love yeah. Jay. He was yeah. great, man. I mean, but by love the way, Jay. when he walks in, you're like, oh my God, it's Neil Diamond coming in. He has I mean, the same haircut, it's... talks like him, and then we showed a clip of him because, I don't know if you know this, he was a, an emergency goalie for the AAA hockey team here. No. Yes, exactly. And knew it. Was it the Wranglers? Right. Yeah. 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 So she found this old video of him on skates leading the crowd to sing in Sweet Caroline. Right. And he sounds like Neil Diamond and he's skating. Yeah. The guy's talented right. guy. He was a super nice guy. There was a guy, John Anthony, that worked at uh, Legends in Concert. Okay. Uh, he did Rod Stewart. Okay. And uh, he was a punter for the Patriots, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> at some point. I don't know if he was a that practice is a, punter. That or... is a career pivot. It's like, <laughs> yes. all right. My career's done punning. Exactly. Rod Stewart impersonation. Exactly. So, you know, the, the singing thing was great. Um, and uh, I actually worked with the world famous platters. I got to work with them, sure. share with them, and it was a lot of fun. And then people started laughing at my singing. So I said, well, <laughs> I'll just, Wait a second. I'll, That's not I'll, good. I'll start doing comedy. <laughs> Is that how it kind of, I mean, so you obviously you're comfortable on stage. You've been doing it your whole life. Yeah. So yeah. where did you, did you start stand up here in Vegas? No, I actually started stand-up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that's yeah, the was, hotbed of comedy, everyone knows, exactly, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's exactly. so like, I'm going to start being a comic, Tulsa's the city. Exactly. What was it like starting out in Tulsa? It was great. You know, it's spelled backwards, a slut. So it was great. <laughs> it, was, it was really... It was uh, someone give me a pen. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't... Wait, Tulsa? <laughs> Tulsa? He's, he's right. <laughs> they took I'm, you writing it out. I to needed to look. I need, I'm a visual person. <laughs> <laughs> but that's where I started. The Looney Bin. The they Looney Bin had, was yeah, a comedy they had, club. They there? had a circuit uh, there in the Midwest. The yeah. Looney Bin, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, Tulsa. 
in Wichita. And that's how and that's yeah. how you made your bones. Yeah. That's how yeah. you get good. Mm-hmm. And you come to Vegas now. I uh, and and tell us about the, the the review you're doing and where and how people can come see it. Okay, because I want to come see it. Yeah, it's called Motown Extreme. Okay, uh, review. And uh, it's at the Motown Extreme Theater. Oh, wow. Which is very, very unusual for the title of the show to be <laughs> yeah, in its exactly. own theater, you know. But they were on the strip for many, many years. Uh, the show started in 2015. Okay. And uh, so we're nine years in now. And uh, I'm not nine years in, but okay, right. they are nine years in. And um, and so they on the strip, a lot of places on the strip, uh, Oyo, formerly Hooters, Oh, yeah, the Oyo is uh, the old Hooters. Yeah, Planet Hollywood. Um, they were a lot of places. The Notoriety Theater down in Fremont. Uh, they were a lot of places. And they finally decided they had such a following uh, and were, were doing so well. Yeah. And that's why they are the number one Motown review in Las Vegas. So what kind of, you'll hear Temp stuff. You'll hear yeah, you know, Four Tops, four Temptations, tops, yeah. uh, Gladys Knight. As a matter of fact, one of the members uh, of the group is a gentleman by the name of Bubba Knight the Third. Was he a pip? Well, his dad. His dad was a pip. His dad. So that's that's awesome. It's Gladys Knight's uh, nephew. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So um, I, you mentioned the Temptations. I got to uh-huh. say, I grew up. My dad was a radio DJ, so we had a very eclectic music collection. So we had soundtracks, comedy records, a lot of Beatles, a lot of Rolling Stones, a lot of Motown stuff. So I listened right, to right. the Temps when I was a kid. So I started stand up in Pittsburgh when I was a kid. And I get a call from the Wheeling. It's, it's the most beautiful theater. It's in Wheeling, West Virginia. The Wheeling, whatever. It's a, oh, I said it again. Uh, he's going for the whiteboard. I said my name. I said, <laughs> name. I said the town again. <laughs> so anyway, I get a call. So they go, look, uh, tomorrow we, we, can't, we, need, we need an opening act for The Temptations. Right. So this was like 1990. Okay, it was a long time ago. And one of the original members was still there. I think he was the last one. Otis. Uh-huh. Oh, it was Otis. Otis thank you. I was going to yep. even say, I was like, yeah, wait, Otis. if you say his name. So it was Otis. So I get down there and I'm nervous. I had just been doing stand up like a year. And I get to this theater. It's a beautiful theater in downtown West Virginia. Uh, but by the way, side note, I was conceived in West Virginia. So I felt at home. I don't know if anybody needed to know that. I, they did. By the way, isn't today national? <laughs> oh, that's right. Anyway, tomorrow's National West Virginia Day. But yeah. Uh, so I'll mention it again tomorrow. <laughs> So I get there, and uh, before the show, they're like, okay, you're going to go. And I look out, and it's packed, and I'm nervous. I'm the most nervous I've ever been. So I get out. I'm only like 20, and it's, a, it's an older crowd. And my act is all kind of like, so I was drinking in college. and eh. So I think it's going to be the worst show, and it went great. And when I got off stage, the Temptations, they didn't go on right after me, but they were kind of warming up and everything. Right, and right. they came over and shook my hand, and Otis came over and said, great job, young man. Oh, I, nice. I made my day, right? Nice. So it made my life. I'm like, okay, it's the original Temptations. So the theater's like, okay, this kid's great. So about a month later, they call, and they go, hey, we need you to open again. Can you come back down? I said, sure. So it was for Jim Neighbors, who was Gomer Pyle. Wonderful. But also a vocalist. Singer. He, you would never Amazing. know. When he was like, oh. And Amazing. you get it, but he had this great voice. So I get down there, and they're about, they don't want to put me on yet because Jim Neighbors hasn't showed up. It's pouring rain outside. All of a sudden, they go, All right, we got to put, we got to put this comic on. We got to get him on. So I'm about to go on, and the side stage door opens and slams open, and Jim Neighbors is standing there. Gomer Pyle, who I've watched as a kid, sopping wet, just everywhere. His hair, which he had probably had done at the, okay, it's all messed up. He's like, no one picked me up at the damn hotel. Really loud. And I just, I had to turn my head loud because it's Gomer Pyle. He's, he's throwing a fit. So I go out there and have just the worst show. It was just terrible because they realized it wasn't my crowd and it was a matinee and I was supposed to come back for the eight o'clock show and they go, you don't have to come back. We're just going to have you. We're going to pay you. It's our mistake. You did great for the temps. And uh, they never called me again. But yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a small world entertainment yeah. though because uh, neighbors, he used to open up the Indianapolis 500. Really? Yeah, he used to sing, you know, I can't remember what song he sang, but yeah. he, he would open up for the Indianapolis 500. If you look him up, and, he had this yeah. beautiful voice, right? Yeah. Now, Wonderful. how can people find the Motown show? Uh, uh, and, uh, online or social media, yeah, stuff like Mo- that? MotownExtreme.com. Okay. Uh, MotownExtreme.com, and, um, and you can purchase tickets. Um, they're going to be adding a lot of things uh, there at the theater. Uh, they're, they're, they're in talks right now to add some comedy. Okay. Uh, jazz. You're there. Also. You're ready. Yeah, okay. They're, they're uh, going to be adding some jazz and, and a lot of other things. So um, MotownExtreme.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, and you shows, host the show, right? I do. I host the show. Um, it's it's kind of a family uh, yeah. uh, situation there. And so uh, when, I went, when I first went down there, he was wanting someone to do comedy. Okay. Uh, after his show. And I said, yeah, I would love to do that. But I really want a resident yeah gig. yeah you, you know want to be I mean? a regular yeah you know, i want to be there five nights a week yeah he, he says really and i said yeah yeah so he gave me a try and 
I did a couple of nights, and then the third night he said, okay, <laughs> if you want to do it, let's do it. The ball you know, was so, in your court, and you yeah, sank it. There yeah, you go. You know, and will KU sink it tonight? We don't know. Uh, well, you know what? We're, yeah, I'm always going to root for them. <laughs> I'm always going to root for them. I'm All always right. going to rock chalk Jayhawk. Go KU. <laughs> You know, and uh, but uh, I'm a little worried. Uh, who has KU in our in our pool? Who has KU and who has? You you have Sanford, Drew Dog. All right, yeah. so he's off today, so it's good. Uh, there won't be any. Or is it in? <laughs> Rank too high for the tournament. No. What's that? Yeah, a right. four seed after that after backing yeah. in like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have Iowa State in my in mind. So Jeff has Kansas. Big yes. Twelve team. Lance Riddell. I don't know if you know him. Another comedian. Yeah, I know that he's, name. He's, he's an Iowa State guy. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, go. yeah. He works with. Diamond. All right. Yeah. So listen, we appreciate you coming in. Oh, thank uh, you. You got to check out J Dab. Check out your social media. What's your social media handles? Uh, it's going to be comedian underscore J D A B J Dab J Dab. We're Instagram. friends on Facebook now. Yeah. Aaron O'Connor. Thank you again for another yes, great. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron's the best. Her and Bob Zaney. Yes, she is. We got to get Aaron. Why hasn't Aaron been on the show? Aaron. All right, we'll find out. Anyway, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to come back with Post for Punchline. And we do or don't know if Alex is stopping. We will text and find out. It'll be a surprise to all of us. All right, uh, we'll be right back in two minutes. J Dab, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Once you've satisfied your hunger, get ready for more of the hottest casino games in Vegas. Our 24-hour, 30-table non-smoking poker room proudly hosts all the most popular poker games with a variety of betting limits. Visit the poker room for a schedule of daily tournaments. Whether you're going to hold them or fold them, the best place for poker is at South Point Casino. You'll notice that our craps tables are usually the loudest in the casino. If you've never played, Join one of our free craps lessons to find out what makes this game so exciting. Check with the craps dealer for schedules and give it a roll. Bingo is also an exciting way to spend your time. We offer seven sessions of bingo every day. And each session includes a cash ball jackpot, 12 bingo games, a progressive double action game, and a $10,000 bonus coverall. Electronic units are available. If you haven't played bingo with us, give it a try today. Guests can also get in on the action at our one-of-a-kind race and sports books. Two separate rooms designed to maximize your experience and comfort. Our sports book, with over 400 seats, puts you right in the middle of the action, 24 hours a day. The friendly ticket writers are happy to help, and it's conveniently located next to the famous Del Mar Deli, where you'll find supersized portions of delicious deli items like roast beef, pastrami, and Reuben sandwiches, or soups, salads, and pizza plus spectacular desserts fit for a king. And right next door is the race book, over 150 seats, each with its own TV screen. There are 16 interactive player terminals, so you can bet right from your seat. Welcome back to the South Point Hotel and Casino. This is Punchlines. I'm Frank Nicotero. Ryan McCormick. Anna's here. Jerry's here. Sean's here. Uh, we're having a good old time. Now, I'm not distracted at all whatsoever by these games because really there's no close games. Yeah. Creighton is up. Creighton pulled away. Creighton pulled away. I don't know what the spread was. What was Creighton? They're up by 15 right now. Uh, 16. It was 12 and a half, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're going to cover. A minute and a half to go. And then Arizona. North Carolina's away. having a pretty easy time with Wagner. That was my 16 seed that I got stuck with. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence in it. And Arizona. Long Beach State hung early. Arizona's yep. now up by 20 with a lot of time to go. Yep. Um, so the later games coming up, Illinois. Zzz. <laughs> that was a Z. The Illinois fighting Elias Nice. <laughs> you you, it, it angers people so much. When you, now, wait a second. It's the same with you with Nevada, right? You hate when people say Nevada. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why does one that bother? One and the same. It's Nevada, but you hate Nevada. Yeah. If you watched Veep with Julia Louis Driver, they she always got corrected when she'd say Nevada. Yeah. Uh, Vegas Poly C. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, he said. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get him on the show, but Brian says nope. He says Nevada. He never <laughs> answered my my text. Anyway, uh, so anyway, I want to look at some live comments. Uh, J Dab, what a great guy. What a great interview. Yeah. Uh oh, hold on. Jeff Parles is popping in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, <laughs> wait. We're Maybe he was in for Alex. Maybe are you subbing in for Alex? Oh, okay. Oh, they're both here. All right. All right. I just want to point out Keith Lyle, who was here yesterday, it was very funny. Uh, he said, wait, Frank was conceived in West Virginia. Who knew his parents were kin? 
Neighbors sang back home in Indiana. Uh, he was from there. That's the song he sang. Good job, Dean Hill. Thank you, Aaron O'Connor. It's a buffet issue. Is that why Aaron hasn't been on the show? You don't want she doesn't do buffets? I don't know. Aaron, I love you. Let's find out. Let's find out why she has gone. The song is called Morning. I guess that's the song that Jim Neighbors said. All right. So this is uh, late breaking news. Jeff Parles. Now, I don't know if you heard the previous guest, Jeff. Jeff Parles is coming in. Did you? You're talking to me. I might as well be on the mic. Okay, yeah. Get in. Yeah, well, was, yeah we're loose. Uh, so he, was, he went to KU. What? He went to Kansas. He was wearing his Kansas hat. Okay. He, was, he went to high school in St. Louis. So a lot of people, uh, he goes, a lot of people went to Kansas because I didn't want to go to Mizzou because, you know, that's basically 13th grade. <laughs> and I said, you know, Jeff Parles, one of our, oh, he's from there and uh, whatever. So he wants to fight you. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna have a fight. It's it's the opening day. We're gonna have a fight. Oh, hold on, hold on. First what? off, first off, before we <laughs> before before we start talking about nonsense Hi, fights that will exist. Yeah, you're how, yeah. the, your jersey today. I know. I saw Ryan bring it in. It's Ryan's. Your jersey. I actually have. Well, actually, not quite. Mine's all purple. Yours turns into red at the bottom. Exactly. Um, it, 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 it is inexcusable. Um, <laughs> well, that's what it's called when it right. When right. It, yeah. Ombre. Um, Alex would know better. Yeah, yeah, I was just laughing that uh, she threw it out there. Yeah, but but it would it it is inexcusable that the Raptors have gone away from oh, those yeah. jerseys. Absolutely, yeah. Ryan. They're even so said, good. This is fire. Yeah, legitimate it was, fire. It was so sick. good. It's sick. It's yeah. sick and fire, and yeah. it shoves. Holler. Yeah. I don't know. You hit them all. <laughs> I tried them all. Uh, this is how dedicated Alex is to her pop in. Where I told everybody, she was like, eh, maybe I will, maybe I not. She opens the laptop. She comes in. She's not just like coming in to chit chat. She's like. We want to give out winners. Here, we want to give out winners. Uh, the by goal. the way, oh, Moorhead State. Do you have the first 15 on Moorhead? I bet no. you do. I don't. I haven't done anything yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the, the Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Moorhead's up 6 nothing. Anyway, uh, we had a couple. Uh, we, let's talk, we'll talk the tournaments right now. Upstairs, I filed the little video. You guys were waiting. We were both in it. We both made cameos. That one's on. Oh, that was that that one or that one's on Twitter. I don't know what. You're somewhere on the video. It's somewhere there. It is unbelievable up there. Perfect. I love it. Uh, if you've never been to the South Point, now's the time. You got to come down. By the way, if you're like, oh, I can't make it till tomorrow, we're doing the same thing tomorrow. And today is National Goof Off Day, or tomorrow's National Goof Off Day. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Are, are you sure it's, it's not every down. day in the studio? Last night, and I'm confused. No, tomorrow's <laughs> National Goof Off Day. Perfect way to goof off. Come here to the South Point. It's free admission, free parking, free valet, and the prices on the food are really cheap upstairs. So, uh, Jeff, uh, Moorhead State's nine? Yeah, three straight threes to begin Ooh. the game. I was actually, before Terrence Shannon just knocked home that three. That Shannon, he's going to have at least I, I was just going to ask you, is, 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 is Illinois okay here? I don't know. Who I has mean, Illinois? Sean, do you have Illinois? I don't know. Illinois. Uh, <laughs> don't say the yes. <laughs> All right, so Ugh. look, Alex brought her laptop. She she fired it up, so we might as well see what she's looking at. Did you at. do post with punchlines already? We didn't do post. You guys want to sit in for I, a few? I would like to sound. <laughs> oh, say sound it. Call, call for it. Say it. No, I'm just kidding. You have to. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I just want to hear it. Do it. I don't know what you say. Sound the horn. Sound the horn. Yeah. <laughs> Bop it right. It's post there we time, go. baby. I can't believe she told my line. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's time. We, uh, we look for posts online so you don't have to. There's my picture. And there's uh, boxing gloves. That's Jake Paul and Mike Tyson's gloves there. Look at all those icons. The first one, it's bracket friendly. Might as well talk about it. We've been obsessed with Joey Votto. He wasn't putting his carts back. He was going through the car wash all sad. He said, I'm not putting my cart back in the proper receptacle. I don't know if Is that, that what it's called? I don't know. The cart holder the thing? cart in a receptacle? I, I don't know. I don't think it's a garbage can more. Yeah, anyway, I don't. He, said, he got signed by Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch he sees. Home run. Uh, but he put brackets out. Yep. And uh, they call him Joey, Joey. I call him Joey Brackets. We might as well call him Joey Chalk. Take a look at that bracket. God, step us through a little of uh, his bracket there, Ryan. Yeah, so. He has he all really, four one seeds, I yeah, think. Yeah, he right? has all four one seeds in the final four. The only upsets that he has in the round of 64, yeah. he had, he did not have Duquesne beating BYU. Oh, he, first of all, real quick, Ryan, who had Duquesne and who had BYU? Right, we've been over it already. We had, oh, he had man, Michigan State beat. Mississippi State, so he was good on the first game of the day. He has Wisconsin beating James Madison, so he ends up having no five seed. No, he has St. Mary's losing to Grand Canyon. Okay, that, that's the one five seed. I like Grand Canyon. Yeah. He's Oregon. He's Oregon in the Elite Eight. That's pretty yes. non chalky. Yes. How it's do you the, see that? Because my eyesight is actually actually good. Oh my God. I, I will. I will say one thing, Frank. This yes. is 
Yeah, final four chalky uh, of those four. Yeah, he has all four it, one seed. But he does. does yeah. He does yeah, have North Carolina line. upsetting yeah. UConn. He does have Purdue upsetting Houston, and then he has Purdue upsetting UNC. Even though I know Purdue will probably be favored in that game, but uh, also it's not as bad as Shannon Sharp. Did you see what Shannon Sharp did? <laughs> no, what happened? Shannon Sharp. Did the men's and women's brackets. Men's and women's brackets. See, Ryan McCormick knows exactly where oh, I'm going here. Okay. All eight final four teams were one seeds. Did not take a single <laughs> other seed. Four ones in the men's side, four ones in the women's side. So, now that's. He's a Hall of Famer. That's, that's horrendous. That is. Under any circumstance. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, I filled out ours. Now I know we have. I think we have eighteen people in the up to twenty. We're we up had, to twenty. We, we had, had twenty, and that's us. it's locked. How right? is how is uh, how is Joey B's bracket? That's the only bracket Uh-oh. I care about beating. <laughs> <laughs> now Joey B, Joey B is not on. He's not in the chat for the first oh, time. Oh no! Maybe the first time. And where he, is he? Joey B, we were going to give basketball. you five minutes on the show right oh, now. Oh no. man! I think he's probably watching. He games was he, he was here for your guys' show. Wait, you're oh, winning. You're winning. You already knew that. What? I'm winning what? You're winning. You have 30 I points. I swear to God, bracket. I don't know that. I, I, do you think- Is he the only one who got all three for three so far? Wait, am I three for three? What? 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 Yeah, Frank. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Guys, we did not we did not rig the deck for Frank and everything so far. We just have to throw that out I there. I, I just, He's I doing not- it all on his own, so we, we yeah, should be proud of real. you. Here. By the way, I did it last night at about 11 o'clock after losing some money at Bingo. Uh, Joey where B you go? Parles are tied. What's that? Joey B and Parles are correct. We, we should both be two and one, correct? Yeah. yeah. Yes. We, bro- we bo- I can guarantee we both lost BYU. I, yeah. It's pretty simple, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm. can we just freeze the competition right now? Stand it. I, I had no idea. that I, I have not looked at ESPN.com. I, do you think I have time? I'm running a whole show, a whole program here. <laughs> uh, all right. So anyway, that's Joey Votto. I'll check. I'll check. Now, this is interesting. I want to hear Jeff and Alex's take on this. So there's this guy, Matty Betts, with two S's. And I think this is becoming like a thing people are doing. They're putting $100 on every underdog. Right, money line. Okay. If you did it last year, I've blindly bet a hundred dollars yeah. on every this is underdog to win the game outright. That's underdog. He was Madness a comp- for the past two cartoon. seasons, and people are asking me now if I'm running it back. He's running it back, ladies. We were worried. I know we lost sleep we over it. Uh, I, I, I don't we even like, know who this guy is. Oh, Matty, it's, it's Matty Betts. Blindly betted on every. So he went twenty-four and forty-three last year, to win to and he won two thousand dollars in profit. We finished. So he's with upping it, right? Wins and he's upping it. He's upping it. Alex yeah. Yeah. Good. All right, very good. So he's probably going to lose this year then. So that was twenty twenty last year. Bets. The top three most profitable teams was Arkansas, yeah, he kinda, he Richmond, goes into and it. of course, yeah, a little Saint too much. But. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Joey, we're doing it anyway. He's going a thousand dollars. He's up in it. He's Woo! doing a thousand dollars per game on on per game on the underdog. Good so. for good for him. I know. I, I don't him. know. So far, I'm losing losing sleep over the fact if he was going to do it again or not. <laughs> well, so far he'd be up a little, right? Because the Duquesne money line probably. But yep. Michigan State, yeah. he, he had Mississippi, so uh, he lost that. Hold one. on, hold on a Uh-oh. second, hold on a second. Do we have like a breaking news? No. Thing? Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. yeah. Oh, More, there you go. That's why they were going That's crazy the, out there. The huge. You can tell. Like when you hear the huge cheer, and you know a game has just started recently. Damn it's it. almost always first to fifteen. So. The Eagles of Moorhead State, first to fifteen here. I wanted to do. I want to do these bets so bad. So Hi, the, Jerry. The game I can do uh, one thirty. <laughs> Jerry, we got everybody here, Jerry. Uh, Jerry, do you know who's leading the ESPN uh, contest so far? <laughs> the Jayhawks. No, me. I my picks. I'm three and zero. Um, so the first fifteen, I can do Dayton. Dayton is playing who? Alex. Dayton, Nevada. Dayton and Nevada. Now I I know a lot of people probably have the Wolf Pack here. But I do have Dayton, and I do like Dayton, and I'm also going to take him. That tip off is 30 minutes after the show. Any any picks you want to tell everybody on this program? Since you got the computer open, well, I actually like that. ATM. I like that over in Dayton, Nevada. Okay, let me find it. And I also like Iowa State under under 135 and a half. So starting with Dayton and and Nevada, um, Nevada 17 15 to the over. Dayton 18 12 and one to the over. So they like to play a lot faster. They are a really good three-point shooting team, 30% from deep. And then Nevada's playing their best basketball. They won seven in a row before they lost to Colorado State in the Mountain West Tournament. So I think we're going to get a lot of points in it, that one. Now, see, this is going to be the bet. I'm, you know I like overs, you and like I want overs. Dana to win. So why not just combine it and just bet the over? So I'm going to do the over, and I'll be upstairs in the party room rooting for points. Room for points. Where, where, that's my individual camera. Yeah, I'm play the role of Mal- uh, uh, Vinny Maliulo here. Okay. 
Hold on. Wait, wait. Dan's got to punch it up. There we go. Go. Two-way action at the desk. <laughs> I'm on Nevada. You're I, on Nevada. I, I, yeah, I am. I, I like the Wolfpack. So, Reno Paul likes them. So I will say, uh, you know, I Alex and I why. talked about this actually pretty. Ex- I wonder why. I wonder. I, I, stunning, Reno. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alex and I actually talk, talked about this game probably longer than any game this morning because it's a 7-10 game. These teams are all, 7-10s are essentially the same as 9-8s more times than not. You have the 10 seed favored here. Uh, on Dayton's side, Deron Holmes is awesome. That's a name if you haven't watched Dayton at John all this Holmes, year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Deron Holmes. Oh, Deron Holmes. Deron right. Holmes, not John. Um, but uh, very few people to understand that one. But okay. but he is he is a great player. Okay, a, a interior guy can step out a little bit as well. But Nevada, as Alex has been all over this for yeah. about six weeks. Yeah, Nevada's best asset is their size, so they can match up pretty well at Holmes. Uh, if Dayton's other guys beat me, so be it. And if you win, I mean, you're just on a roll right now. I, I just it, It's all coming up Ryan. Nicotero right oh, now. So this, this is so bad. So. This is such a bad beginning because it's just all going to go south from here. So uh, yeah, I'm, on, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Nevada in this game. Okay, I'm yeah. going to take the, yeah. the over. The number's about... Uh, 136 and a half. That's, uh, yep. One th- oh, it's climbing. Damn it. We're Honestly, wrapping st- tonight. St- live in Nevada every show. <laughs> 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 so I still, you know what? You know, so I didn't. I didn't bet the total. Also, Nevada is now one and a half behind us. Uh, I uh, what did I do? I, I laid a dollar fifteen money line at a different book. That's what I ended up doing okay. on this. But okay, if you like Dayton, just wait it out. You're going to get a better number over the next uh, next thirty minutes, uh, next twenty minutes or so. See, this is why you need. Uh, this is why Jeff and Alex do what they do. I saw you guys talking about the Duquesne BYU game this morning, and I ran. I, I commented in, go Dukes, boom, boom, boom. Not thinking Duquesne would win this game outright. I just thought they'd cover. But you know their coach is retiring. I mean, he, by the way, this is a big day for your city. Duquesne wins a game. Right. There's four games in your city today. I know the Creighton. I, I, I mean, Creighton. I, Creighton's there. Uh, they won big. Who, who's the uh, the six seed down there? Uh, South Carolina, Oregon's coming yep. up. Obviously, uh, that's a uh, the big day in the Steel and City. And I'll tell you right now, Kentucky there are so many Texas people State. from Pittsburgh that their vacation spot is in South Carolina. I'm going to tell you right now that will be a home game for South Carolina. Really? That's, that's a pick-up game. There will be. I'm I'm telling you right now. My buddy Mike uh, O'Day, who watches the show a lot, he went to University of South Kakalaki. He loves the Gamecocks, and I guarantee you that will be a, a South Carolina crowd because everyone goes to Hilton Head or Myrtle Beach. From I was going to say, I, yeah, you you said did it I twice. Say it twice. You said it Come twice. Come on, guys, it's tournament Sunday. R- R- it's first day. R- R- Ryan, Sunday. Ryan, I, I, you asked me to bait him into it a few days ago. I, I did not succeed. There you go. That was. That was By the very way, while easy. Jeff is here, this. Don't, <laughs> <laughs> Frank Mergy and B-Town Dummy want this Lent. They want Lent to be here so bad. By the way, this is nice. Mini Dar. Mini Dar, big fan. <laughs> See, remember when Ryan was concerned that we weren't going to get the money back in the I pocket? I added the 70 back. They added yeah. the 70 back that I thought oh. Jeff was throwing in out of his pocket. Yeah, but. If I didn't get there. But I was getting there. Cl- I was making fun yeah, of but him dude, that it. was all on you for but going over But I was doing it for fun to drive it back a, up so a, Ryan a, would talk to me a, again a, and be friends with you still. Right, 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 right. We let Ryan stew for 24 hours. He was, he was fine after the 24 Mini hours. Mini Dar says, and I And then love, you took Alex's money in poker. Stew. It's all, it's all, it's all, <laughs> it all comes back. Yeah. And you took uh, Ryan's money. No, Ryan. Oh, no, Ryan, 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 Ryan was that day. Ryan was even that day. Vegas Paul. Oh, yeah. Vegas Paul, is a mook, says Keith Lyle. Uh, yeah, I know. I just he's in my algorithm on TikTok. He's a mook. That's uh, very funny. Uh, but no, uh, they love your laugh, man. Mini Dar loves your laugh. It is. You're part of the show, and we know that. I can't see this damn book or whatever it's called, Chromebook. All right, uh, let's talk about Iowa State. You talked about you like the Iowa State under, correct? I do. Iowa State. Very interesting graphic about Iowa State. We could punch that. Iowa one up State, here. and I do like South Dakota State. Really? To 15 first. Okay, first to 15? Yes. I'm doing it. First doing to 15. It. That's the one. We'll all be here. I yep. think that game's at like four. We're going upstairs So we'll be that. rooting for that. Oh, yeah. Points, points, points. Do we have the, the Iowa State thing? But it's going to take a long time. It won't happen until like 10 minutes into the game. Oh, really? Okay, it's slow. Okay, I like I'll that. I'll take the under. That good. I like the slow build. <laughs> under under 10? I, I, I think they get there before the, uh, before the second media timeout. Oh, which so. is uh, that's under 12, 12. 12. 12, 12, 12 yeah. Okay, that's yeah. a good. Yeah, I think that's they get actually where the line should be set. All right, what, what one dollar? One dollar. One dollar. They're making a bet. They're making a side bet here. One neutral. What? One neutral. I don't know. Oh, what's okay, happening. okay, yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, take a look at this. I call it Iowa Miss. Oh, State. what do you have? This is about Iowa State. So there have been thirty-eight teams to enter the NCAA tourney as a one or two seed that were unranked in the preseason top twenty-five. These teams have combined for zero Final Fours and an average less than two wins per tournament. The only team that fits those parameters, Iowa State. 
Interesting. What do you think of that, Jeff? Alex, what do you make well, of this? Why are you looking at me, Alex? I, 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 I would I like no to know take. those 38 teams. I'd like to know when they made the top 25, like how late in the season. Because Iowa State that's has true. been there for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, they worked their way in Does early. it say preseason? Yeah, yeah, pre-season. yeah so the first, okay, so, so the yeah. first poll. So I can tell you right now, I know one right off the top of my head. That was my 2012 Missouri, 2011, 2012 Missouri Tigers. 13th grade. Who, uh, uh, well, that was actually 13th grade for me, my freshman year of college. <laughs> All right, um, but uh, but they were the two seed. They would be, I, I would argue the best uh, best team in school history. I know people say 94. Uh, yeah, but, I always but say 94. They, uh, Ryan, you say but, 94. But, uh, best yeah. but they uh, lost the North. That was Kyle Quinn bursting onto the seed. Norfolk State got him in a, no, I don't in, a in a 15-2 upset, and it was devastating uh, <laughs> for uh, uh, freshman year me. Oh, it was man. 15-2, so first round. Oh, it was 15-2. It was horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. Yeah. So what do you take from that? What do I take from this? Yeah. yeah. I don't really take anything from it because Me I think either. it's a nonsense so stat. coincidence, maybe. Who, we'll who see. Who has Iowa State in our pool? That would be the kid over here. The well, kid well, we Al- Alex is honestly, mon- monetary-wise, Alex is more invested because she, she is, has the, she has the futures one. on them yeah. to win it all. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I kind of started following Iowa State because she talked a lot about him on the show. So, And I did watch him. I mean, they destroyed Houston in that final. That was insane. The, uh, the conference final. So, I mean, I don't know. I took Iowa State. Well, you're telling me for scoring 41 points in a game is not good? It's not good. Virginia would love that. <laughs> they might be in trouble, Frank. Virginia? Yeah. Oh, Iowa you State? You saw that tweet the other day? Which one? Where they're down 20. Someone tweeted, oh, I think Virginia might be in trouble when they're down by 20 <laughs> points. Was that you? It wasn't me. Oh, I thought it was me. If it was me, I would have mentioned it about 17 times <laughs> It's already. very funny. Uh, we'll do one football thing here. Uh, we got to talk about Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is now the coach of uh, the L.A. Chargers. I didn't say you were close. We got close. I know LA Chargers. So uh, this is what I find really peculiar. He leaves Michigan. So he has a yard sale. Uh, How many millions, (laughs) how many millions of dollars has Jim Harbaugh made coaching football? Tens of millions. Hold on a second. So he's getting rid of knickknacks. Hold on. McCormick, where are the khakis? Yeah. Well, that was me. I, 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 no, but where are the khakis? Got, That's well, a serious he, question. No, he's got to keep them. He's got to keep. He's got to keep them yeah, all. He can't, he can't get There's rid none of that khakis. don't fit him anymore. Can I tell you why he has to keep them? They don't sell khakis in L.A. That was been worst joke. Uh, how many episodes is this? <laughs> Honestly, that everything was, about that was perfect. Every single person in here was silent. 115 episodes. We've reached the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. That was, that I was, thought my LA khaki joke was going to be funny, and I looked, I looked this way. I looked here, stone. I just saw nothing. Because it was supposed to be like, oh, LA, we don't wear khakis. We wear other pants. <laughs> That was honestly, you know what was the worst joke you might have ever had on the show? I think that was one of the three funniest moments ever. (laughs) (laughs) It's weird how that's two-way action. Get Uh, money! (laughs) We had the best, worst joke, but it got the biggest laugh. (laughs) I don't know how we do it. I don't know how I do it, folks. (laughs) Oh, my God. so good. Uh, There's your comedy clip for the day, Jer. There you go. Let's make Frank look like an idiot. Uh, (laughs) Actually, did you want to use the the play-in game stat? What's the playing game? Yeah, so, show that. Yeah, yeah here's the playing. Yeah, we got look. We got our two experts the, here. The Let's first go. graphic. So, this I sent this in the group chat last night, and Frank was really surprised. Oh, this is by a great it. stat. Yeah. Um, so the records of teams in the first four by sorted by seeds. <laughs> so ten seeds are now two and two. Two and two. Eleven seeds, eighteen and eighteen. Twelve seeds, four and four. He was really surprised that all these teams were tied. I was gonna say it's amazing how even it is, right, Frank? Oh man, what did I do wrong? What what did I what what happened? Playing game. Wait a second. You're not still not getting it. <laughs> the playing game is the first four. Right. They're not seated. Well, they no, are. they are seated. Right. Clearly, yeah. The graphic says. <laughs> what, 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 does, what does it make? What, you, what, right you, what, you, what are you missing here? <laughs> I don't know. Frank, Frank, how many games have there been in the first four involving 16 teams? <laughs> not a lot. It's only been around for a few years. It's 26. <laughs> so what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> When they play a play-in game, yeah, they're both a who's on first sixteen seed, right? Okay, yeah. If they've only played twenty, what's the man's name? They're they eat. <laughs> one gets one the one. win, one gets Who? the loss. Right. Every time. I don't know. Third base. <laughs> I have no idea. I still don't know. What is happening over here? <laughs> who sent this to who? Did I send this to you or did oh, you send no, it to he, me? Ryan I sent it. In the I chat. laughed at it because I got it immediately. <laughs> okay. And then Ryan was like, wait a second, Frank still doesn't get this. <laughs> like, no show material. No, but wait a second. <laughs> You're still not getting it. Yeah, I know. You, 
<laughs> Frank, when a 10 seed plays a 10 seed, yeah. one oh, team has to win <laughs> and one team has to lose. <laughs> so you can get the Mike Greenberg Hembo book. <laughs> Pick your number. Uh, it's on Amazon. It's on there. I see. I get it now. Okay. I honestly thought it was one of the best tweets you've ever sent to the group tag. By the way, McCormick. what time was it? At? Was it around? Uh, it was at eight twenty-five. This was this tweet was sent out in during the Montana State. Grand no, but League when game. you sent it to me, was it at eight twenty-five? Because I was in the car and I was voice tag. I'll tell you right now because I remember doing this because I went, "Oh, that Jay Kuda is good. This is great. Put it in the show." I didn't really look at it. Or Ryan McCormick it. sent it to, at 8.19 p.m. Did I not just night? say it was approximately when I left for bingo at 8.25? So you weren't really looking? You just said throw so it in the show. So wait a second. Hold on. You're blaming, <laughs> no, don't, blame, don't blame bingo for your own mistake here. Uh, by the way, the bingo out here goes away too fast. You got to be quick. Uh, I, I don't know what page I'm on. I got my the dabbers. We got dabbers. We don't know what's going on. It goes yeah, fast. Yeah, I just get the machine. Yeah, yeah. but it, it costs more, Alex. I'm losing money on these games. No, you're you not. Win. You're. Well, you are. He's a heavy. I got to look at I'm 180 in the hole. 110, 110, right? No, it's 180. It's no. it's 110. That's 70. That Parl's 70 explanation is. All right, the show's gone well, off the rails, which is fine with me. 180 because the Shohei bet shouldn't have happened. Well, oh, God. hey, Shohei, Shohei doesn't bet. Itself. Don't bet. Yeah. Shohei doesn't like gambling. Oh yeah. wait, I've got. I've, it, it, <laughs> we had to stick. We to don't have. An, we don't have enough time to get into that. Frank. We'll wait. For, we'll see how it unfolds over the weekend, right? I, well, I, it's going to take a while to unfold. Is he going to play the full season for the Dodgers? One hundred percent. They yes. have to. He's yes. too good. Yes. They. It, it, it has nothing to do with him being good. But by the and, way, and, and, and also too, like if. The, the, well, the, yeah, all that will the happen league, is that like the, league, the yeah, documents yeah, from the FBI will right. somehow pop up out of nowhere. It's gonna be this, pretty clear. He didn't bet on baseball. This explains I mean, who cares. This explains why his logo looks so cheap. He didn't. He spent always all his money, so he just got that sketch art that we showed the other day. Or um, I, or I should say, his interpreter spent uh, did all the uh, bets not on baseball. Uh, do we have any yeah. other posts? Yeah. Uh, we have the the Marlins selling season. Or yeah, selling show seats. that. Let's show that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you can't be. This is a pretty good deal. Uh, could you get a smaller font? Perfect. <laughs> oh, okay. do you want me? Do you want me to read it? <laughs> yeah, perfect. That one's perfect. Yeah. No, I can't even see it anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, if Jeff, if you're bionic and you can read, well, it. I mean, bionic. go, go, go for it. Go for it. Let's see if all we can right. do this. So it's an I mean, all you can eat for fifty two bucks. I, I, I can read it right here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have Ryan read it. All right. well, Ryan, I can I, I can make out water chili dogs, chili nachos. And Everyone a few loves other water things. chili dogs. Yeah. 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 Uh, so you get water, chili. Contest. So the Marlins are selling all-you-can-eat seats starting at fifty-two dollars. You get four and four items through the set. Like every time you go up, you can get four of these <laughs> items through the seventh. Four. Thing. Yeah. You, okay. Water, cookies, water, cookies, peanuts, popcorn, hot dogs, chili dogs, chili nachos, cheeseburgers. <laughs> I was yelling like a hot dog vendor. Do we man. have a gas right. leak in the studio? <laughs> at the last ten minutes. Nachos of the show? with cheese and non-alcoholic <laughs> beverages. Not a, oh, there's the rub. You're getting no duels, but there's a little alcohol in those. If you drink like 40 of them, you get like a little buzz. No. Uh, All right. So hold on. Hold yeah. on. I, my brain works in mysterious ways. First off, where's Caden been this week? Is he okay? He got bitten by a snake. He's, he's sick. Okay. So he, the snake poison has finally <laughs> gotten to his brain. He's not sick. Um, I found Caden, out about this Caden, story. I Caden would it. claim that he could eat oh. four hot dogs every inning. Yeah, he can do it. These with the, the 50... The water chili dogs, Jeff. The water chili dogs, yes, right. correct. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. I want to point out that we want to point out that we mentioned about a week ago, Miami is also going to be the first stadium that allows musical instruments in the stadium. Yeah. And what this is a horrible idea. Miami games are going to be a wreck. So people are going to be gor gorging on food. People are going to be blowing vuvuzelas and all sorts of drums. I, I don't know what they're doing in Miami, but well, it's it's what's, gonna be a train. What's wrong with the the, the musical instruments? No one. Do you want to... someone behind you with a trumpet? Yeah, an I, you know what? To get people in the ballpark, I don't blame them. Make it because again, there's obviously a, a, a huge uh, Caribbean and, yes, and South know, American and and, influence yeah, exactly. uh, in Miami, as we know. And those games that are in the uh, the Dominican Winter League and, yeah, I, and the Caribbean but, series, they they all allow that. So, I, in all honesty, I hope someone brings a steel drum to the to oh, the game. Oh, it's going to be great. Right. Um, and also, I'm pretty sure they already actually had uh, with the team they had their own trumpeters anyway. Oh my god! So I'm all in. Give me the they trumpets. Don't. Give me the saxophones. And make all it you a unique experience. And all you can eat. And all you can eat chili water dogs. Yeah, you know, they would never do that. All can eat <laughs> or water chili they dogs. They would never do me. that. All you can eat at Dodger Stadium because we don't eat them. <laughs> In khakis. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Alex, do you have any other picks or anything you want to talk about? You gave out two. I think that's good yep. enough. Yep, I gave out two. That Iowa State under. under Iowa State under. And you what like, about Jeff? Do and you, you have like any the picks? Dayton, you like the Dayton, Dayton Nevada over. Nevada over. Oh, you, you, want, you want picks? Yeah, you got something? McNe- what do you want? McNeese State wins Uh-oh. outright tonight. Oh, and no. did you hear that? No. Jeff likes McNeese State outright. That's a very sexy pick right now. You have McNeese State? Don't count on it because I've got bad luck. No, that's not true. All right, hold on. I have uh, Gonzaga. St. Mary's to the Sweet 16. You got St. Mary's. Go Zags. All right, we do have one last news bulletin, ladies and gentlemen. This is straight up uh, from the uh, B-Town Dummy. Caught the press conference for Duquesne, and the coach and players all dedicated their victory to Frank Nicotero and his lone semester at the university. Wow, how how sweet. He also put quotes around the university. What's that? He put quotes around university. It's a real – oh, he went to University of Washington. That's actually a pretty good school, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, he graduated with a theater major. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How's that going? How's that going, Christian? Huh? Yeah? Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh, Alex and I apologize for wrecking the last 35 yes. minutes of the show. Yeah. This has been the favorite 35 minutes of the week. This has been great. Uh, no, we wanted I saw Paul's coming in. I'm like, it's been a great show. Uh, and then Alex, right? And pulled, this has been a great show. This has been a fun show. J Dab came in, killed it. Fascinating gentleman. He's out there somewhere uh, in his KU hat. He says he's probably going to bet money on Sanford. He goes, oh. uh, he goes, I guess we're going to lose. And I said, well, that's smart because if Sanford wins, you win money. If KU wins, then hey, you're on the modern one. So I need Sanford. Let's go. Go Sanford. Go McNeese State. Go over on Dayton. Under and Nevada. Iowa State. And under on yep. Iowa State. We're going to go upstairs. I can't stress enough to you folks that live locally. The March Mayhem Party upstairs. There's 2,500, 3,000 people. Unbelievable deals on drinks, on food. Free throw contest. I think we're going to get in line and do it. Four out of five. You want a bucket of beer? The the whole fate of our table rests in your hands. <laughs> well, after I did go three for three on the footballs, I'll warm up. The yeah, old. you have a lot of pressure now. I can do three. I can get three out of five, probably. R- Ryan wants to get up and smack you in the face right no. now. Why would that. he do that? He does not. No. He loves me. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, fun show. We thank everybody again. Be in the live, be everybody in the in the live chat room. I know everyone's watching basketball, keeping an eye on the TVs. North Carolina is up by uh, twelve now. They're up by twelve. You can do the math now. I'm very good at math. Yeah. When I do it, sometimes I do it for comedic sake. Like, oh, I don't know numbers. Beautiful mind. We will be back tomorrow. Denny Nagel and John Smoltz. How about that? And I believe Frank Murchie is going to talk some women's basketball brackets. We got a big show tomorrow. We thank you for watching. Please share this show. Subscribe. Make sure you watch Sports by the Book tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. 8.30 in the morning, getting you ready for all Friday's games. Alex, you're on, on with Jeff tomorrow. Yep. And who else? Just the two of us. Vinny will probably appear. Vinny will appear. Didn't, didn't expect him today, but he was here. Maybe, Sean, maybe the song we'll was in my Maybe we'll give out some too. NASCAR picks in tomorrow's show. You got NASCAR picks tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow, oh, yeah. Oh, I feel good after today's Gone It's racing. a road race. I know you filled in on Brendan Gone. Make sure you watch Gone Racing. <laughs> Uh, you filled in, and with Jeff Molly, that's also on our website. Watch Ralph, watch all the shows. Time to watch some basketball. Let's go! Live in Nevada, every show. Swish.